Welcome to Norris Middle School. My name is Carrie Moore and I'm the proud principal of the Redbirds and I'm excited to show you a little sneak peek of all the work that's been happening at Norris Middle School. As you can see, we're undergoing a huge renovation that is expected to be completed in August of 2018 and I would say we're about 60% done with the renovation at this point. Some of the things that are getting completed are new classroom spaces and you can see an example of some classrooms up here. And one of the exciting pieces about our renovation is that we currently have 17 portables on our campus, but when the renovation is complete, we will have zero portables. We were previously a building that was over capacity, and when the renovation is complete, we will be at 85% capacity and be able to have all our students and teachers comfortably in classrooms. One other thing that I'm very passionate about is our alternative curriculum program and the space that we have completed for them. This is one of the first rooms that was done in the renovation because it's such an important space. The students who are in this classroom um, have a varying range of needs. They could be developmental delays. They could be students who are on the aut autism spectrum. They could be students with other physical needs. And so this space is so important. It's equipped with a kitchen, dishwasher, refrigerator, oven, uh, washer and dryer so that our students can also work through life skills. And one other space in this room that I'm very, very excited about is our, uh, is our sensory room. And our sensory room is a space where students who need a space to calm down, um, need a space to be able to get things together so they can continue throughout the day, this space is available for them. Um, and it's got lots of resources in there for them to be able to use. There's an exercise bike. We have one student who just gets on the exercise bike and he goes to town because that's his way of being able to calm down and get ready to go throughout the day. There's also a trampoline, uh, a bean bag, a place for them to read and just kind of regroup so that they can go throughout their day. So we're really excited about this space and its availability for our students. Welcome to our gym, the home of the Redbirds. Some exciting big things are happening in the gym as well. The gym used to be quite a bit larger, but in an effort to provide a presentation space, part of the gym was taken away and has now been uh, fitted with a stage. And so that's gonna be a great space for our performing groups to be able to perform in the future. In addition to that, we have all new basketball hoops that have been placed in the gym, as well as a new scoreboard and new windows. And finally, in addition to a wonderful new paint job, we have new student bleachers that are up to date and in much better condition than the bleachers we've previously had. Welcome to our pool at Norris Middle School. You can see that there are a lot of things that are happening in the pool right now. A couple of the big projects that are going to be going on is first the ceiling is going to be replaced with an exposed ceiling. Um, so that's gonna change the look of the pool space. And one of the other big items that's gonna happen is a replacement of the heating and cooling system that's in the pool. Um, so to help with the air quality that we have in here in our pool area. Our pool is used by not only Norris Middle School swim teams, but also our students who take swim lessons during the day as a part of their physical education classes. And our pool is also used by Lewis and Clark Middle School and Central High School. So it's really important that this space be good for everybody who uses it. All right, so this is our North Edition that is being put in. Um, to this direction, this used to be a, a breezeway when, where students would be able to come in the building. Um, there was a courtyard over here. This area, the big area in the middle, will be our new library and media center. On both sides of that will be three new classrooms. So all, in all, um, on the first floor, there will be six new classrooms and a new library space. Upstairs, above the library, will be our new tech and living lab. Um, and then six classrooms up there as well. So this area will add 12 new classrooms, a new media center, and a new tech and living lab. So this will be a really big new space for us. This is our old office area. At one time in, the Nor in Norris's history, this was our main entrance. Um, this is all going to be have some renovation work done. This will be classroom space eventually. This will be our corridor between uh, the west and east parts of the building. These classrooms on, down on first floor, this side will be done um, right around the end of April. So we'll get this classroom space back soon as well. And then we'll walk towards the south addition. Do you want to see some new classrooms? Okay. Right now, we're still moving teachers around um, because of the uh, changes over spring break, but this is one of our new classroom spaces. This teacher is uh, sharing a little bit of her space for fourth quarter because of um, people moving around, but this is one of our new classrooms. So they're really bright, lots of window, lots of light, color, really wonderful spaces for our students. And soon all of the furniture will be replaced as well. <laughs>
which makes it even Circle better. So this is another classroom space. The, the shades are down in this one. Um, the walls are a different color. So just really bright, really great for our students. We're very excited about the new spaces and our students are really excited to be moving into the new spaces. So this is kind of an interesting place to be in our building because one side is new and one side is old. <laughs> so as you walk, you can kind of see the difference um, just in how much brighter and cleaner everything looks on the, in the new area. So this is our south edition. This will allow, uh, this room, this area is nine new classrooms. So all together we'll have 21 new classrooms. They're still doing a little bit of finishing work in some of these rooms, but some of the rooms the teachers have moved in. One of the really cool areas that we'll have access to that we did not before are these collaborative learning spaces. These are little pull-out areas for teachers to work with students um, in small groups, which is really cool. So that's a new addition that we did not have in our old building. We also have teacher workspaces. So with the middle school model, um, we work in teams. And so the teams didn't have good areas um, to work as a team, plan for students. So these teacher work areas will do that. Um, it will also allow teachers to have a space when they are on their plan. Um, and there's collaborative learning spaces in here too for teachers to work together. Um, faculty restrooms, which were in short supply in our building prior to that. So this is a really exciting area as well.